Hey guys, what's up? 2-Bit Jesus here with another episode of 2-Bit Talks. Again, I, I know you guys are used to, I, I believe, three videos a week, but uh, the, the upload schedule has been uh, in considerable flux, let's just say. I've been sick for one, and then for two, we're, we're really focusing in on some uh, reviews that we are working on. So for now, until we kind of get a schedule set up, it's probably going to be one one uh, two-bit talks video a week instead of the usual three. Anyway, let's get into the subject matter. So it has come out that Crackdown 3 is going to be delayed again. And initial thoughts, like first hot take um, for me is uh, who gives a shit? Um, I know probably some people out there like this game or are excited for this game, but I played the first one. It was kind of eh. And that's how I feel about it. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure that it's a good game, but just my initial thoughts on it was just kind of eh. And I played the second one, and I was kind of more like eh. I mean, it's fun. It was, you know, there were some fun aspects to it, but all in all, it's not anything that really blew me away. I was, I didn't walk away from that feeling... In, impressed by it. Of course, a direct quote from Microsoft Studios General Manager Shannon Loftus. We are very excited about Crackdown 3, and so are many fans, and so it's a difficult call to move the release date. However, we want to make sure to deliver the right game with the right quality at the right time. Crackdown 3 is a hugely ambitious game, and we want to ensure we deliver the right experiences all the way through every part of the game, whether that's campaign, co-op multiplayer, or our competitive multiplayer mode, Wrecking Zone. Gamers can expect Crackdown 3 Spring of 2018. Among other items, we are taking extra time to focus on the visual polish so gamers can feel completely immersed in the living world. We want them to really feel the larger-than-life enemies as they're exploring the expansive open world combating crime and collecting orbs. The Xbox One X launch lineup will be one of the greatest, sorry, it's hard for you to take this one seriously, greatest lineups of games ever available with a major new console release. Not only are there several new Xbox exclusives such as Forza Motorsport 7, Cuphead, Super Lucky's Tale, and the console launch exclusive Players Unknown Battlegrounds. There is an incredible list of titles coming this holiday, including Middle-Earth Shadow of War, Assassin's Creed Origins, Call of Duty World War II, Star Wars Battlefront II, and Destiny 2. All right, <clears throat> now that I got all that PR from freaking, what was his name, Loftus, out of the way, um, God, that was cringeworthy, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I mean... I mean, for one, no, I mean, don't get me wrong. Forza Motorsport 7, the Forza series, from what I heard from everyone who loves racing games, it, it's one of the one of the best. Uh, that's great. That's that's totally great if you're a huge racing fan. As for me, the most racing I get done is Mario Kart. That's that's my racing game. Anything else, I'm just kind of like I don't really care for, as far as racing goes. Um, Cuphead, I already have pre-ordered, but then again. That's a game that is going to be on the Xbox, the original Xbox One. Lucky's Tale, I think I'm, I might get, but I, that, that seems like a game more for me to play with my daughters. And honestly, I'm not that excited for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great multiplayer game, uh, but again, that's not something I'm too into. I don't even know if it has a single player. Let me know in the comment section below if it has a single player. I just remember seeing the trailer at E3 and it being like, a, oh, this is looking like a, uh, oh, what was that one game? Team Fortress 2. Uh, it, it reminds me a lot of Team Fortress 2 and how it's set up. So yeah, he also, when he listed those third-party games, it just, those games are going to be people who own an Xbox One S and own an original Xbox and own a PS4 Pro or even an original PS4 or PS4 Slim. Uh, so many damn, so much damn hardware out there. People can get all those games on those consoles. Like, the the problem here is, especially because I get it, Crackdown 3 was supposed to be the game, even though in my opinion a very weak game, 
to launch with your system. I would have made sure to have a Gears game launch with it, or a Halo game, or a new a, a new big IP. Uh, I could be proven wrong. Crackdown Three could go down as one of the greatest games ever. You know that that that's still that door's still open, but I, I kind of doubt it because the last two games were not that particularly mind blowing. Anyway, um, and and again, as I said earlier, the Cuphead, Lucky's Tale, those are in, kind of interesting games, but I don't see those as being heavy hitters um, for the Xbox One X. I still think the Xbox One X is going to sell well, but it's not going to sell well because it has games. It's going to sell well because people want the top tier console. They want to. It, they'll probably get a 4K TV this holiday season, and that's going to be one of the best systems to play 4K games on. Uh, if It depends, though, because if Sony does a competitive price and, ha- and they, have the, they have the games out already for it, uh, you, you could be seeing people getting the PS4 Pro. I mean, Microsoft really, you're, you're not doing yourself any favors. Uh, you know, and as much as I uh, have dogged on Crackdown 3, it was an asset to your, you know, holiday season 2017. And by taking that out, you've actually weakened, I believe, your, uh, your position this coming in in this holiday because you got a lot of competition you know forget about sony actually nintendo which the switch is selling incredibly well and nintendo's coming out with the main series mario game so it's it's going to be some stiff competition this year you you i mean i get that you had to do that because you you know don't feel the game is quite up to snuff uh, some of the gameplay footage, uh, if I remember correctly, at E3 looked like it was a bit iffy with some frame rate and stuff like that. So I get it. You don't want to release a game that's, you know, crap. But then also, it looks like, I, you know, some screenshots I've seen, it looks like Terry Crews is getting integrated into the game. And so, yeah, I just thought he was there for, like, the E3 thing. But no, it looks like he's going to be a character. Or at least you can play him, maybe? Um... It looks like he'll be a, a playable character and be a, a big part of Crackdown 3. Um, so we'll we'll see how that goes. I, I mean, that might also be the reason they delayed it is because they got to make his model, put his model in there, record all this dialogue, and add a whole bunch of crap to it. So I don't know. We'll see. This doesn't really move the needle for me, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what, what you guys think. Do you think, hey, this is, you know... This is the shits, you know. I really was looking forward to Crackdown 3. Or are you kind of like me where it's like, ah, I don't really care. Uh, who cares? I'm looking forward to other games. Um, got a lot of games coming out this holiday season that uh, should be, be able to uh, keep me entertained. Anyway, guys. As always, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions for the channel, send them to at 2BitJesus on Twitter. And as always, stay safe and play on.